Good well, once again, my name is Graphics. If you look at the front of the screen, there's a question that is displayed on it. And the question goes like this. It said, the fit of two components with nominal diameter 20 mm is given as follows. H8, F7. Determine A, the limit of the hole and shaft. B, the tolerance of the hole and shaft. C, their maximum and minimum allowance required and hence D determine the type of fit that will exit before the component. So when you are given a question like this, the first thing you need to do is to draw your tabula. So I will take my rule, I will split my answer sheet into two right and i'm going to split this why am i doing this because i have the hole and the shaft right the hole is the hole while the shaft is the rod we know that the shaft is always passing through the hole right so this table here is for hole why this it's for what? The shaft. Now, we have the diameter to be, we have uh, what is called the 20 millimeter diameter. 20 millimeter diameter of H8 hole, right? So, I also have 20 millimeter diameter of F7 shafts. Now these are the first two things you do. Now we have what is called an upper limit and lower limit. So we need to get the upper limit Of the shaft of the hole and also we'll get the lower limit of the hole similarly we we'll also get the upper limit of the shaft and we'll get the lower limit of the hole now let's see, for the upper limit, you are going to add the diameter plus the tolerance, right? We have what is called tolerance. So what tolerance are we talking about? Now that will take us to our BS4500 table, which is this. This is what we have here. Now this is the nominal sizes. So you are going to check in between these two. This is over and two. So over three to six, right? So you check where your 20 millimeter diameter falls in. Now if you see it is measured in what millimeter. So we're going to check. I would have taken 30, but in between 30 and 40, there is no 20. But in between 18 and 30, there is 20, right? So it means that I'm going to take this row. So I'll take this row which is this right i'll take this row now we're talking about h8 now this is h8 and i'll be taking it down this way right so where the h8 and the 18 to 30 size meets we're having plus 33 and zero right so the up one here the plus 33 up here is for the upper limit and the zero here is for the lower limit so i'm going to for you to use this you need to multiply the upper limit 33 by this here the tolerance right which is 0 0.001 millimeter so 33 times 0 0.001 millimeter will give us 0 0.033 millimeter 
so i'm going to add 20 with 0 0.033 millimeter so this will be plus 0 0.033 so when you add these two, you are going to be having this 20.33, that's it, 20.033 millimeter. So this is the upper limit. Now if you notice it, we also have 0 under 33, and I said earlier that the 0 is lower. So the 0 under 33 is lower, the 33 up is the upper. 0 is the lower. So if I multiply 0 times 0 0.001, I'll have everything all to be 0. So I'm going to add it with 20. So 0 0.000 plus 20. So it will be the diameter plus 0 0.000. And this is going to give us 20.000 millimeter. Right? So that is the lower limit for the hole. We'll come to the shaft, we'll repeat the same fit. So 20 millimeter, you, your 20 plus, now let's see what we are going to be having. You check for F7 under that, the range, under that range, right? What is the range? 18 to 30, 24, and you trace F7. Now this is F7 here. This is what the S7 that we have here. Now you trace the S7 down and you're having 20 minus 20 minus 41, right? The up one here is for the upper limit, that is the 20, then the minus 41 is for lower limit. So for me to assess this, I need to multiply it with 0 0.001 here. So minus 20 times 0 0.001 will give you minus 0 0.020, right? So let's do that. So you might subtract it from what? Minus 0 0.020. This is what we have. So by the time you do that, you'll be having minus, you'll be having 19.98, right? So we have 19.98 millimeter. Because if you subtract 20 from 0 0.020, you have 19.98 millimeter. So you do the same thing for the lower limits, which is 20 diameter. Then plus, now what is the lower limit? You will check our table again. You realize that under the F7, we've already used the 20, which is the upper limit, then the one under is minus 41, which is what? The lower limit. So minus 41 times 0 0.001 will give us minus 0 0.041, right? So I'll use that minus 0 0.041 here. So I'll put minus 0 0.041. So by the time you subtract this, you're going to be having 19.959. 19.959 millimeter. So we have successfully gotten the upper limit of the hole and the lower limit of the hole. We also got in the upper limit of the shaft and the lower limit of the shaft, right? So we are now told to calculate the tolerance. So I want to calculate tolerance for the hole. So put it this way, calculating for tolerance, calculating for tolerance, because the question says we calculate for the limit of the hole and also the tolerance. So we call calculate the limit of the hole, so we calculate for tolerance. So the tolerance is the upper limit minus upper limit, lower limit. So we say that tolerance tolerance is equals to upper limit minus lower. Right? In brackets, I'm going to put limit. So upper limit minus what? Lower limit. So what is the upper limit? The upper limit here is 20.033, then minus 20.000. And that is going to give us 
zero point zero three three. So we're having zero point zero three three millimeter. So the tolerance for the hole is zero point zero three three meter. Now we check for also calculate for tolerance. Calculate for what? For tolerance of the shaft now. Now we know very well that the tolerance, like we said earlier, tolerance is equal to what? Upper limit of shaft minus what? Lower limit of shaft. Is that the key? So from here, We'll be having this. The upper limit here is 19.98 minus the lower limit is 19.959. At the end of the day, we are going to be having 0.021 millimeter when you subtract both of them. So we successfully got in the tolerance for the shaft. I've gotten the tolerance for the hole. Now we want to calculate the indication indicates that we should also calculate for the maximum and minimum allowance. So let us calculate for maximum and minimum allowance. So I'm going to write that. We are calculating for what allowance now? So for maximum allowance, for maximum allowance. We are going to say that this will give us upper limit of hole minus lower limit of shaft. It will be upper limit of hole minus lower limit of shaft. So when we put it, the upper limit of hole, if our question is giving us, let's see, upper limit of hole from the question is giving us, because this is the table of the hole, and the upper limit of hole is 20.033. So we have 20.033 minus lower limit of shaft, this is for the shaft, and the lower limit of shaft is giving us what? 19.959 because this is the table for the shaft and the lower limit of shaft is 19.959 so minus 19.959 now this will now give us um, 0 0.074 0 0.074 millimeter so that is the maximum allowance now the next thing we calculate for will be the minimum allowance because we are told to calculate for maximum and minimum so for the minimum for the minimum allowance so we say that it is the lower limit of hole minus the upper limit of shaft the lower limit of hole minus upper limit of shaft so what is the lower limit of hole lower limit of hole is 20.000 right this is what we have here lower limit of hole is 20.000 minus the upper limit of shaft to minus 19.98 because the upper limit of shaft is given as what? 19.9796, right? So 19.96. So 19.96. So by the time you do that, you're going to be having 0.02 millimeter. Is that the key? So this is the maximum allowance. Now, the third question here is that we should determine the type of fit 
that will exist exist between the components. Now we have different kind of fits. We have the clearance fit, we have the transition fit, and we also have the interference fit, right? Now when there is an easy true between the two components, like when the shaft, which is the the when the shaft, let's say this is our hole, right? When the shaft can easily pass through the hole, we say that it is clearance, right? Now, but what do you notice? The upper limit of the shaft is less than the lower limit of the hole. Watch. The upper limit of the shaft, the upper limit of the shaft is 19.98 and it is less than the lower limit of the hole that means the hole is bigger than the shaft so because the hole is bigger than the shaft the shaft is like a rod the shaft can easily pass through the hole so it means that what there is nothing blocking it there will be a free passage of the shaft through the hole because the hole is bigger than the shaft that is the lower limit of the hole is bigger just like we're having an internal diameter and an external diameter so the upper limit and the lower limit so because this is bigger than this we see that what is the clearance fit is that okay so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching